hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to make the dynamic urls and pages in django so let's get started so first we'll open our code and the output so in the previous video we had rendered the data in this template so now what we are going to do is here we are going to pass the id of the product and we are going to view it so we are going to make the dynamic urls basically so I just will start with creating the URL. So give path function and give here view blog. Okay, A view blog slash and the we are going to pass the primary key here. So let us get ID comma views dot view blog. This will be the function and name is equal to view blog so i'll just copy and paste this copy and paste add the comma over here in this too okay so now let us go to the views file and create a function here with this name view blog and here pass in the request along with the id which we wrote here okay so in your urls here i have written id so i'll write primary key for now so it will be clear don't get confused so here we'll write pk whatever you are passing there just pass it here also the same name should be here so what we are going to do here is we are going to say form or we can create a variable called blogs blogs equals call the model that is blogs dot objects dot filter or you can give get or here get id equals to pk okay so this will be your model i mean in the database column that is id which is matching with this primary key which we have passed here okay so this this will be the same for this also so let us copy and paste it here so i'll change the okay here we are passing the same thing what we have created here so i'll pass blogs here and we'll create a new template here inside the accounts new file and we'll say view.html okay so here we'll use the same thing copy and paste so i'll just take this end block content copy and paste it so here now we are going to say it to the view dot html okay we are passing this so now let us go to the view dot html page and here we will echo the we had sent the variable blogs right so this is blogs so just echo that blogs dot title and this will be the description okay so we will write here label and close the label here and this will be title okay and paste it here the description so in this index.html page let us add a button over here so we'll give here action okay action and this table data just copy and paste remove this thing and give a a tag over here a and href so we'll pass the URL over here. URL to the view, which you had created the view URL here. Okay, view blog. So you can call this so here. Call the view blog along with the ID. So we are going to copy this blocks. Okay, so blocks dot ID. Just 
do a space over here and we'll close the a tag close a give view button name okay and we'll add a class over here class btn btn primary primary save it and let us check the output so go reload and you can see this is view and here okay so when i click view so you get your the title is mobile phones and description we are not got there must be some mistake or just spelling mistake mostly description okay so here is a mistake description reload and you can see so i'll just copy the structure over here copy and paste it here we are not taking the table we are just taking the outer structure that is the bootstrap design so okay paste it here now let me beautify this file so this alignment will get proper now you can reload and check the output so okay just give a br tag here for now because we are just checking the output so the designing thing we'll see later so you can see the title is mobile phone and description is this is a good phone okay so you can go back to this okay so we'll use this now i'm sending this one okay subscribe to sharma coder the title is django crash course view and you can see title django crash course subscribe to sharma coders okay so here uh, this is what called as dynamic url we are using the view blog for all the blogs or here we are just passing the id and accessing all that and this is the same page for all the blogs this view.html is the same page we are using for all the blogs it let it be the id number one or id number two we are just using the same page so this is called dynamic urls and dynamic pages so that's it in this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again